look who is officially a Bovina. Mm. What's going on you guys? It's your girl Just Koi here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video that went out last week of the K Corner Comeback. Y'all already know I love and appreciate you. So what I'm going to do today is a little bit different because I kind of want to just get right into why I'm bald. So don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to put on your notification bell so that you never miss when I post. So now let's get on into the video. If you haven't been up and abreast on my Instagram and whatnot, follow it. Bye cut officially like cut cut my hair i want to say to this level on sunday the way that it happened was i was getting hot like i was getting really hot like physically outside and i was like yo it's gotta be it's gotta be the hair like the hair has to go crazy is like this is not the first time that i've cut my hair but this is the lowest my hair has ever been natural i've gone through i want to say like 1100 different transitions of my head of what i've done to my hair from being natural to being relaxed to braids i started at a very young age and the reason why i started at a very young age is because i had a very encouraging grandmother who told me something very simple because she was the same way when she was her age just cutting her hair dying it changing styles to stand there always flop always flop she was like coy it's just hair So I'm going to encourage you all today, if you are thinking of cutting your hair, if you are pondering it, if you're researching it, keep doing that. Understand that cutting your hair is a completely personal decision. It's not something that anybody can tell you when the right time is to cut your hair, that someone can coach you through necessarily. Um, so being completely honest, what I really want to talk to you guys about is what I'm figuring out now that I'm bald. I've never been this short. I've been natural. I've had shortcuts, but I've never been bald. I know that a lot of black women, when we want to go natural and we want to do a big chop, we never think to go, like we talk about, oh my God, I want to cut all my hair off, but we never do it. Yo, do it. So this whole big thing about black women being bald. Now, throughout history, we have seen some of probably the most beautiful black women with no hair. I mean, models that come out of Africa that have no hair, their face structure, the skin. That's kind of why we get so impassioned and we love it so much because we see other black women that look amazing with these short haircuts, with these no haircuts. And we think to ourselves like, yo, there's no way I can pull that off. Head probably too big. I got a weird shaped head, you know, like I got probably got lumps to stand in the third. My mama probably ain't shaked my head when I was a baby. Like it's a bunch of, trust me, I've been in the room with a bunch of women why they did not want to cut their hair. And as someone that's always been natural or you like mainly was always natural but I would cut my hair often one thing I can definitely say like as a black woman with cutting your hair is people do look at you differently and over the past almost week that it's been that I've cut my hair I have been able to notice that people treat you different this is not a dig at anybody that likes to wear like long hairstyles or anything like that or like hairstyles that's in their face or whatever this is nothing against you i promise you it's nothing against you i call her my sister friend my auntie yamala she actually kind of through her own boldness like emboldened me to cut my hair but the way that she went about doing it was like this fearlessness knowing that no matter what i have on my head under my head i am beautiful regardless a lot of people think that their face is not more like they can't pull off a ball cut especially black women and i know that for a fact this is something that i rocked with for a long time and this was actually something that my sister friend helped me conquer thinking that i couldn't pull off a hairstyle and she had to kind of explain to me like first of all you're bomb so anything you do to your body is going to be bomb. If you choose to cut your hair off or you choose to get a wig that stretches down to your ankles, it's going to be bomb. No matter if your head is big, okay, it's big under that hair. Guess what? It's a big bomb ass head. That's what it is. When she kind of put it into perspective to me like that, I remembered my grandmother's words of it's just hair. It grows back. So like cautionary if everything that i've said is kind of like encourage you to maybe you want to cut your hair i'm just going to give you a caution, couple cautionary things i promise like maybe five cautionary things that i've picked up on since i've been completely bald 
as a black woman. So the first thing I've noticed is that people will stare at you. When I say they stare at you, I mean like sometimes they look like they're like they're puzzled. Like I've thought to myself, maybe they think, you know, maybe I was sick or something. That's why my hair is cut. Um, maybe they think I'm like this African priestess or something like that. That's why my hair is cut. I don't know. Like I just be like, cause the the looks that you get, it's like people are really trying to figure out what made you cut your hair. But they never ask you what made you cut your hair. Cause again, like I said in the beginning. It's an extremely personal decision. Kind of to get to point number two, people that do ask you why you've cut your hair, what I've learned is that you do not have to tell them every single reason of why you cut your hair. When I say that cutting your hair is an extremely personal experience, I mean that the way that this happened, so let me take it back for a second. I was stressing, stressing. It was not an understatement. It was not, it was not, I could play it off. It was not any of that. I was going through it you understand so because i was going through it i looked at my hair one day in the mirror in the bathroom and i was just like yo my hair is like a representation of my life my hair has been going through it for the last however long it's been dry it's been brittle like my bank accounts it's been struggling and falling apart like my mentality and my hair that refuses to heal refused to get better, refused to retain moisture, refused to bring back a curl pattern, was damaged from being pressed and in the heat and everything was cooked and fried. My hair represented me. It did, and I was so stressed. I remember looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe a trim. It started with a trim. I'm just gonna trim the ends, you know, get that brittleness off, because I'm sick of brushing my hair, combing my hair, trying to do it, and I'm literally pulling out hair. So I start trimming, trimming, trimming. No lie, y'all. Something in me, like as the scissors were in my hand, I remember just looking at the mirror and looking at myself and just being like, fuck it. And I cut right at the root, no lie. That's exactly what happened. In my mind, those were the two words I heard, fuck it, and then snip. And then I was just like, well, we're here now. So I initially had it in like this real jacked afro. And I had went to the beauty supply store and got some color dye. Cause I was like, let me try and make this look a little bit better and not as raggedy. And then it looked a little bit better, but it still looked kind of raggedy. So then my boyfriend, um, he like, he's got all these different kind of skills. Y'all might meet him sometime. It's not what about him right now. Um, he kind of edged me up. You feel me? Got the scissors together and got it together. And then I rocked that for like a week. And then I went completely bald. So, you know, but realizing that people are going to look at you crazy, understand? Like I said, you know, that was a lot to tell y'all or whatever the case may be. But just know that the reasons why you cut your hair are completely personal. Okay, so y'all know the reasons why I cut my hair. And if somebody on the street randomly walked up to you and asked you why you cut your hair, you think they're going to want to hear all that? No. I just wanted something different. I wanted to try a little something, something new. You know, unless you want to tell them that's your business. Hey, whatever. Third thing, you know, your body regulation doesn't get any better after you cut your hair. So, remember how I said I was hot before when I had hair on top of my head? And when you stand outside in the sun, that heat on your head will make your head hot. And then because, you know, you don't want the UV rays directly on your head. This is my problem that I went through like yesterday. You don't want the UV rays directly hitting your brain or whatever. So, you put the hat on. So, now your hat is cooking your scalp underneath the heat of the sun. And you standing in it. And it's, it's cooking your head. And then so you take it off, right? And if you go into an air-conditioned place, yo, your scalp is going to be on freeze, my bro. I have an ice ball on your head, my guy. With this hair, brody, level of hair, bro, I was freezing. I was like, yo. And don't even try and go outside. Let a gust of wind. Let a gust of wind grace your scalp. And see if you don't think you anemic for two seconds. Like, I, I really, really like, ooh, it's chilly. It's, it's June. What you mean it's chilly? It's June. I'm sorry, I got a little wild, but that's, that's that part. Definitely make sure if you're going to go bald, you feel me, be prepared to have a fan or a hat with you at all times. At all times. Number four, you will shock people. So, you know how initially when you say hi to somebody, you be like, hey, you do a quick glance, like you do a quick one-two. Yesterday, I was in New York, and 
there was this guy in front of me. I forgot what I was waiting for. I think I was waiting for food or something. I was just standing there. You know, just being me. Y'all see me, y'all see me outside, say hey, I'll say hey back. But I was literally just standing in the line and he turned around and I was like, hey, how you doing? And he was like, hey, hey. And I was like, oh. And then I looked at his eyes and he was looking at my head. <laughs> so you might, you might throw some people off because first thing, bald on a woman is already off-putting. Second, bald on a black woman is just, you can't help but to not notice. So to so all my, my black women that watch me, that love me and support me, if you are thinking about cutting your hair, baby girl, let me let you know right now, I don't care what you, what you how you wanna flip and put it right now, you're going to become an object of attention. I don't care what you look like, I don't care how you keep yourself, a bald head, a shaved head will automatically make you seem more interesting than you probably actually are because I'm not that interesting, but I promise you, I feel like more people try to talk to me now that I have no hair than when I was like, you know, had braids and whatnot. So, number five. Lastly, the thing that I've learned from being bald for the last week that I'm trusting in as a word of encouragement to anyone else that is thinking to go bald or to shave their head. I'll bring you closer so you can really, really hear me. Life is too short to be concerned about some dead follicles on the top of your head and whether or not how they gonna make your face look. Let me tell you something. Your face, whoever you are, you, you, their person, right, mm -hmm. your face is beautiful, you're perfect, you're awesome, whether you have hair, bald, got alopecia, can't grow your eyebrows, I don't care what it is, hair or no hair, you are bomb.com, and can nobody tell you otherwise, and the beauty of being bald, like if you're really that worried about being bald, like if you're like, yo, I do not think I can pull off a bald haircut, I wanna be bald, I don't want no hair this summer, it's supposed to be dumb hot, I'm not trying to be worried about who pool I could get in, who pool I could get out of, because I'm worried about my hair, Brody. You wanna cut it? Cut it. If you don't like it, guess what? Get away. So, now that we've covered all of those, things i feel like this video was like so convoluted of so many things but it's very important you know because i know that a lot of women hold power in their head but on their hair or hold it in what's in your head you hold it by what's on top of it you think that your beauty is based off of what kind of styles you can pull off or what hair like no no that's not what it is. It's just hair. It grows back. When I said life is too short, I really want us to understand and listen to that and hear that. Life is too short to let something as small as hair, for non-religious reasons, decide how happy you choose to live your life. It doesn't make any sense to me. If you wanna cut your hair, don't be worried about what nobody else is gonna say. It's not their head. They don't have to walk around like that. You do. How do you feel about your hair? How do you feel about your head? How do you feel about you? Don't worry about what everybody else says. That's them. At the end of the day, they go to bed with their thoughts in their body by themselves, and so do you. That's how you will go, and that's how you came in this world, by yourself. Your life is yours and yours to live entirely in every decision you want to make. Be your career, whether it be your education, or simply be finding your style and your identity. It is every choice yours to make. So, this summer, I don't want to hear no excuse from nobody talking about, oh, I can't cut my hair because my head look like this. I can't cut my hair because this, that, and third. I can't, da, da, da. I don't want to hear none of that. This is your life. It is 2019, and we've seen how crazy people can come and go. If you want to not live your best life because you're afraid of what other people are going to say about what you do, but you're so independent and you're by yourself and you don't care what everybody else thinks of you, but yet and still you won't make a simple decision for yourself because you're worried about what everybody else thinks of you, 
We can have a better conversation later when you get over that, sis. I'm just saying. Set your scalp free. And set yourself free at the same time, girl. I'm telling you. It ain't nothing like being on time for everything because you don't have to do your hair. Take the tidbit. But that's all I have for you guys today. I'm done with rambling and getting all riled up or whatever have you. I hope you guys like this video. Drop down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Have you been thinking about cutting your hair? Are you still nervous to cut your hair? Or maybe did this change your perception and your opinion about what you may do or if you really do want to cut your hair? Either way, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this video. Otherwise, I won't know about it. Don't forget to subscribe if you never want to miss when I post. And root. Don't forget to put on your notification bell so that you never miss when I post as well. All right, you guys. I love you guys so much. And thanks for coming back to the corner because... We are the littest corner on the block and can't nobody tell you otherwise. And if they do, they lying. Period. Deuces.